you know what, it feels good. It feels real good tonight in Stevenage. I spent a lot of time in Revolution Pro paying my dues. Andy Quilden, I always hear him on commentary. He's always saying, win or learn, JJ, win or learn. The learning may not be finished, but the winning has just started. Yokosuji, that was a fight. I'd go as far to say that's the biggest fight I've had of my life. You brought it to me. You forced me to use the heart and soul that I bring. But I've said since January that 2023 is my year. And I mean that. And if tonight wasn't evidence of that, then let March 26th be that. You're cool. After all this time, finally, I will be walking down that ramp, entering the Revolution Rumble, and I will stop at nothing to make sure that I win. No, I don't know. 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 将来ある若手に俺の席を譲ってあげただけだだから本当に勝ったと思うな今日は俺からのプレゼントだと思え JJ ゲール頑張るよ<笑> You know what? I must have just blacked out out there I, I'm sure I passed out because from what I'm hearing is Chantal Jordan just pinned me, Mercedes Blaze? <sighs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna go to the back and, and once I sort myself out, I'm gonna watch back the video and then I'm gonna come chat to you. I'm sure you're seeing it as he looks at you. As I don't know what his big deal is. I don't know the fact that, like, I don't know. But we're in the tag match. We're teaming together, and I want to help you out however much I can. But I want to do the same to Leon. At the same time, he's he's doing great things. He doesn't need me. We, but we got tag bookings elsewhere. I've tagged with him at OTT. He should be happy with that. But I don't know. I think he sees you, and I think he just wants to be the one. I think he needs to know there's room for loads of us. There's room for you and him. But like you said, one day. Did you see that? Did you see? Well, of course, you just seen that. Total domination. Oh, yeah. we bring the energy to this building, you know. Yes. Bring some serious energy, mm. Leon. And I tell you where I'm going to be bringing that energy, you know. 26th of March, your call. It's a rumble going on, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's a rumble. Oh, the man is Zach Sabre Jr., Will Ospreay. Is that it? What? Connor Mills? Gabriel Kidd. Look, I've told you this. I've told you this. I'm the next. <laughs> British heavyweight champion. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing late games. That's it. That's all you need to know from me. Tell them, Liam. Tell them. And I'm on the same energy, dog. It's takeover season. It's super fight season. It's always a rep pro for the boy. I ain't heavy killed you yet, but you best believe I got my sights set on that cruiserweight belt. 
And camera Kai once again, bro. You ain't in charge yet. Oh. You know, at the Southampton show, I stood in front of this very camera and I said, I win or I learn. And I'm bored of learning. But what not a lot of people know is that I took the whole of January pretty much off. Because I wanted to know who Callum Newman was. Because you know what? I didn't. For however many years, however many shows I've done, especially in front of Rev Pro, tagging with JJ, having these singles matches, I never knew who I was. I didn't know what Callum Newman was about. But that whole month off, that's helped. Because consistently, up and down the UK, I've been having banger after banger after banger. And tonight, I lost. Whoa, whoop de doo But I'm still going out there. And I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. I'm gonna show everyone, win, lose, draw, or even die in the ring. Everyone's gonna know I'm one of the best junior heavyweights this country and this world has to offer. Win or learn, I'm not gonna stop until I prove to everyone, everyone that said I was everyone that told me to stop, everyone that said this wasn't worth it, I'm throwing it all back in their face. Because Callum Newman is gonna be the best junior heavyweight in the world. Callum Newman, you're tough. Here in Stevenage, you put me to a limit. Maybe, maybe I'm not the quickest anymore. Maybe the Prince of Pace really is in the running, but we move on to a bigger picture. This year is Ricky Don Jr's redemption. Because I got my belt took away from me at the end of last year. I never lost her. The uncrowned, undisputed British heavyweight champion. And 2023, by any means necessary, no matter what I have to do, I will end the year undisputed British heavyweight champion. I come back through the curtain and you shove a camera in my face. Like I want to talk to you after what just happened out there with Dan Maloney. Dan, you got lucky tonight. You got lucky to be a competitor like me. A great competitor like me. You got lucky. And the next time we meet in the ring, you won't be so lucky. But it's okay. It's okay because Jack Morris, Jack Morris is a winner. Really, he's a winner. Because when you look this good, and you're as good in the ring as I am. One loss doesn't define who you are. So I've stepped in that rev, ring, that rev pro ring again. And the outcome will be different with Jack Morris getting the one, two, three. Now get in my face. Oh, this one. Rich, rich one. We wrestled at Southside. Well, say, like 10 years ago, eight years ago. Man, we are the best. We're the best that we've ever been. And bro, you have taken me so much further than any of the others. You know what? You have me this, this close. This close. But do you know why? I'm the speaking. I am the best cruiserweight in the world. And as long as this is around my waist, everybody knows who I am. Everyone's going to recognize who's the speed king, who's the king of the cruiserweights, who is the British cruiserweight champion. <laughs>